What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Modern Warfare 3 and how some in the community are unhappy with the map selection that we'll have on launch day. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you hadn't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Now the other day when Modern Warfare 3 was launched, a lot of people were really excited about Call of Duty this year. And I can even say for me personally, this is the first time I've really been excited about a Call of Duty game in the last several years because it sounds like the developers have finally listened and are adding things back to regular multiplayer and even Warzone uh, that players have been wanting for a couple years now. So it sounds like it's going to be a better experience than we've had. But when it came to what the maps were going to be on launch day, it sounded like a great thing when they first said there's going to be 16 um, 6v6 maps and 20 maps total in Modern Warfare 3 at launch. And a lot of people were really excited about 16 uh, 6v6 maps because over the last several years we've not really got a good map selection day one. But the thing that was kind of interesting about this is all of the maps that are 6v6, all 16 of them will be pulled from Modern Warfare 2 2009. So all of the maps that were in MW2 in 2009 are, are going to be what we have available to us in Modern Warfare 3 when the game launches. Now there will be uh, some large scale maps, three of those battle maps and one uh, war map because war is coming back to Modern Warfare 3. They also stated that there will be 12 all new 6v6 uh, core maps in the game at some point after launch. Uh, this will be part of the season drop so we'll probably get a couple maps two or three each season. So there's going to be a lot of maps available for 6v6, but on launch day, it's only going to be these Modern Warfare 2 maps from 2009. And I think a lot of people are unhappy with this. Now, for some, if you're not old as I am, you may not have played the original Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009. So some of these maps like High Rise, like Afghan, may be something new to you. But for us players who have played COD since COD 2, this is kind of a disappointment I'm not going to say I'm completely disappointed. We've had some of these maps remade over the last couple of years anyway. But I think a lot of people get kind of disappointed when they see a new Call of Duty game coming out and it's not really being called an expansion. The developers saying this is not an expansion, it's his own game. In a lot of people's minds, it kind of is an expansion because you're not really getting brand new content map-wise on day one. You're getting remastered maps from a previous Call of Duty game. While, yes, we're going to get 12 new maps at some point, within the year's time frame that the game is out. A lot of the maps that you're going to be playing to begin with, if you've played Call of Duty since COD 2, COD 3, COD 4, um, you know, Modern Warfare 2, you're going to be seeing all those Modern Warfare 2 maps, those maps that you experienced a long time ago. And if you are a newer COD player, you're still going to see some of these maps that have been remastered over the years, like Rust, for example. Rust has been in the game a couple times lately, and Rust is going to be one of the maps that will be available on launch day. Now, overall, like I said, a lot of those maps back in 2009, I absolutely loved. I'm going to be kind of curious to see how they remaster these. If it's going to be a, you know, pretty much duplicate of what we saw in 2009, or if it's going to be like some of the maps they have remastered over the years, where they seem to add some more lines of sight or ways to block certain lines of sight that were available uh, before in the, you know, original map. But overall, Modern Warfare 3 is really looking to be something, I think, uh, that can, that's going to get a lot of Call of Duty players excited about the game. I think overall, everything we've heard so far sounds like something that's going to be enjoyable to play. Like I said, it's something the community has wanted. A lot of the uh, things the community has talked about since probably uh, you know, 2019's Call of Duty, a lot of things that have not been added into the game over those last several years, the development team is finally adding it back into the game, finally getting things we want to see into the game instead of adding a lot of stuff or doing things that they have been doing over the last few years that we did not agree with. But the one thing I think that kind of has the community torn right now, like I said, is going to be this, the maps. 16 maps on launch day is going to be great for 6v6, but I'm kind of curious if you guys are disappointed that it is just remastered maps or remakes of the maps from Modern Warfare 2 2009. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.